Hi, hello, vanakkam and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video we will see about one of the database performance issues and how to fix it. So why are we discussing this in this video is this is one of the main questions that has been asked to the candidates to check their performance engineering or their performance tuning knowledge so i request you all to watch the video until the end to make sure you answer your interview questions very effectively so that's point number 1 and then the second thing is you will need this to give recommendations to your team to the development team so that the development team will be able to fix the issues or fix the database issues because in turn if the database is faster automatically the application will yes you are right so the application will turn faster so that's why we are going to discuss about the major issue major database performance issue in this video and i will tell you how to fix it in this video so this is again it's going to be a series of video so this is the part number 1 So before we move on to the video this is me I was Anshanmugam I welcome you all to Little Sla YouTube channel please do subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet like share and comment the video for any questions or feedbacks So first thing is the database what is the database and how important is the database to the application so the database are the heart of any application and they are essential for storing and retrieving data so any data that is stored or any data that is used will be stored and then they will be retrieved whenever we need them so despite their importance so we all know that is very important and that's the heart of any application but still databases are prone to performance issues and in turn it impacts the application's performance So in this video I will cover you one of the most common database performance issue and it's fix so I will just give you a higher level and a lower level of granularity on how to fix the issue so today we will see that with one of the examples in this video so the first issue is indexing so the lack of indexing so that is what we are going to discuss in this video with an uh, example so the first thing is going to be lack of indexing so what is indexing or how does indexing helps us so indexes are a critical component of databases performance so how do they become critical so already the databases are perform the databases are critical and now indexes are too critical or they are like a critical component of databases performance so how does it become critical so an index is essentially a data structure so they are basically a data structure that allows the database to find specific data quickly so when a database has a lack of indexes it can result in slow queries and overall poor performance so how does it happen so let me give you an example so for example if you are logging into amazon website and you want to search a particular item so for example if you want to search an item something like a small piece which you want to fix it for your table so when you are searching for that item it's not a common item so the database will take a lot of time find that item so it it has its query without indexing so it keeps on searching through its entire databases so when it takes a lot of time searching it automatically the response that comes back will take a lot of time and in turn it will degrade the performance or the performance will come down right so now we will see this with an example So here in this example we have 
two tables the first one on the top is the customers table and then the second one is the orders table so what do we have in the customers table so in the customers table we have the customer id and then the customer name their email address and then their phone number and in the next table we have the order id in the orders table so we have the order id we have the customer id from the customer table and then we have the order date and then the total amount so now let's consider this scenario so this is very basic scenario and this is very common scenario where there is no index on the customer id column so here you can see the customer id column here in the orders table so without index what happens without index so when we when i execute a query to find some orders for a specific customer say for example for john smith so here i have the id uh, the customer named john smith and he has uh, his id as one and this one the customer id one is in the orders table so i want to execute a query to find the order of john smith so the database would have to perform a full table scan on the orders table for example if i want to find all the orders of customer id 1 the database would need to go through every row in the orders table and check the customer id for each row to find the relevant order so for example if there is just one order it's just fine but what if it has the order table has at least 1 million columns and there are multiple at least 10,000 of orders for the customer John so it will take a lot of time since the database would need to go through every row in the orders table and it has to check the customer ID for each row to find the relevant orders so for example i'm writing a query something like select star from orders where the customer id is equal to one so the database would have to scan all the rows in the orders table even if there are millions of orders just to find those belongings to customer id one so this process is time consuming as we all know so this is a time consuming process and it results in slow query performance especially as the data grows longer because we do not have the same set of database every day it keeps on increasing and increasing every day and every now and then so what happens with index so now let's add an index on the customer id column in the orders table so an index acts as a map and it allows the database to quickly find the rows corresponding to a particular customer ID. So for example, I'm creating an index, which is like create index IDX customer ID on orders of customer ID. So what happens because of creating an index? So when I execute the same query to find orders for customer ID, the database can use the index so this is where the index comes into the picture. So the database uses the index to perform a quick lookup and directly retrieve the rows related to that specific customer. And this significantly reduces the search time and improves the query performance. So that's what we all need. So this indexing reduces the search time and improves the quality the sorry the query performance so the sql query with index will be select star from orders where customer id is equal to one so this is in fact the same query which we already have but what happened in between the queries with that one that we searched first and then the query that we searched now so the only difference is the indexing so we have created an index on so the on the customer id in the orders table so with index in the place the database efficiently access only the rows that match the customer id one resulting in faster query execution so overall in this example we used indexes and they appropriately greatly are they improved the database performance by allowing the database to find specific data quickly without the need for time consuming full table scans and this is essential to identify and create indexes on columns that are frequently used for filtering 
and even they can be used for joining and sorting operations to optimize the query performance. So, so far we saw about what happens when we search for a query without indexing. So, this is the challenge that is we do this is this is actually it's happening like if we want to search some data it goes through the entire database searching for the entire database items looking for some items into it so what is the fix so the fix is straightforward you can tell your developers that they have to ensure that all the tables have appropriate indexes and they have to start by identifying the most commonly queried columns and create indexes for those columns. So you have to, as a performance engineer, you have to give this recommendation that they have to identify the most commonly queried columns and create indexes. So how will you find the most queried columns? So you can find this in your if you are using App Dynamics or if you are using your Datadog or if you are using your Dynatrace. So you can find the most common queried rows or most common queries and then you can find the most common queried columns using your APM tools. So find that and then the next thing is consider using composite indexes which are indexes that span multiple columns. It should not be for specific columns and it should be for multiple columns. So the diagrams uh, like for example uh, databases with indexes and relationships allowing for very fast and efficient database queries to be written and they can be used within API queries to provide data access from remote systems. So by using one to many relationship between the tables, we can write efficient queries to pull the relevant data based on the joins between the tables. And this process allows us to reduce duplicated data. So with that, I come to an end. So this is the very first, the very basic, the very common, I would say. When it comes to slow performance so please remember you can use this in your interview panel you can very confidently answer this question with all the facts that we have discussed in this video and in fact if you are in a project and if you find your application slow please look at this as your first option of improving your performance or improving the performance of the application so until I meet you in another interesting video, it's bye-bye from Vasan Chanmugam and Little Slaw.